Awesome. Yeah, I appreciate you conversation this morning, all right? Yes, sir. So, just straight up? Yep. Yep. We'll do it this way. All right. Know this? Um, support your right to speech? I want you to uphold the Constitution. That's what I want you to do. We have, we have to keep people safe. I want you to uphold the Constitution. I appreciate you conversation this morning, all right? Yes, sir. We certainly support your right to free speech. Um, I appreciate the conversation, the good discussion, I guess, that we had. Um, did tell you we'd have a PA system. We wanted to have a podium, but we couldn't get the freaking thing to lock, so we, we at least got the PA system. blatantly defy unconstitutional law as best to my ability. So I think that's his way of saying, you know, apologizing without coming out and apologizing. We did get to talk to, to Mike this morning. We sat down right over here. It was a long night for me, so I appreciate him spending time. Uh, they gave me my pistol back. For, for, for talking to me, did give him his, his firearm back. In my four years of activism, I have never had a police chief offer me a f PA system to come out and tell them what I am and ain't gonna do. It just hasn't happened. I gotta rewind the tape back to the Trump rally where we so much as stepped in the street and got sucker punched and got slammed to the ground, etc. Why was the free speech not exercise at that point why were we not able to sit down in this same situation if you're trying to tell me that we can show up like this and get a pa system and we peacefully show up unarmed to a rally to exercise our right and we get a lady pushed to the ground we get a man sucker punch in the face we get a medic arrested and tackled for trying to render aid we get stalked and followed to our car and they try to say that race is not an issue right here.